This is game number 24. On the tee from England, Tommy Fleetwood. It's going to be a big weekend for Tommy Fleetwood, who's come close but never won around this place before playing in front of what is now a, a form of a, a home crowd. He says that this place has a place in his heart as well. Dubai, difficult kind of pressure for him or a different one at least, Thomas? Uh, it's just he's a member here, you know, all the members out, all his friends. He feels like he's playing well, he spent a bit of time with him last night. He feels like he's playing great, you know, and just go out and enjoy it and try and, and win the golf tournament. That's his mindset. Yeah, good afternoon, everyone. This should be fun, shouldn't it? Just over 160 for Fleetwood. And there was quite a bit of air into the faces of the previous groups I've been down here with, but it seems to have died. Well, Tommy's over. He knows this course better than anybody. Got his academy here. Nine iron for Fleetwood. Good one to this back left pin. Just a touch of breeze into him. Bringing in from right to left, Tommy. Perfect. Just swings it so well at the moment. He really does. Looks Where's the line from here? Yeah, it's all about good pace here to hold the line. Yeah. What a start from these two. Both make birdies. That's what we were hoping for. Hopefully these two can get each other going. Tommy with an iron. Par five. This needs to be high and soft. To finish close to this hole. Sits right behind the bunker there. Oh, that's perfect. That is absolutely perfect. Liquid. For the eagle, what a chance this is. It's just on the left edge. No more than that. It's going to be Tommy Fleetwood in front, but he'll have company there. He's going to join the fray at 11 under par. Go. Go. Pitches on the front edge there. Fleetwood finds the green a long way away, but... This for birdie for Fleetwood up and over the hill. Bit of left to right in it. He's read it well. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. You wouldn't see a better try from this far out. He's way down the fairway here, Fleetwood. Distance control vital on this course. Has he got it? I'm sure he has. one player more that finds that little pocket there at the back. Looks simple on TV, these. They're not. Yeah, tricky ones to read these. Can he pick the line? Yes, he can. But he's straight overall. Launched it sort of inside right and didn't do anything. And Fleetwood alongside Nikolai Hoygaard now at 12 under par. Courtesy of that birdie. Well, he's taking a long time over this flea. He's got to be an eight iron. It's, it's all of it. 169, though. Breeze slightly hurting. That's a good line for Fleetwood. Pretty sure he made the right decision. Whatever he was thinking about. Jamie Spence. Wondering why he took a little bit of time. We know now. Quickly to Fleetwood. Birdie part. To take it on his own, which he does. With that birdie there at the set. Well. There we look for Tommy Fleetwood here up seven. Oh my goodness. Oh, a little unlucky. But what an exhibition of striking. Amy's described it. I've never left the flag. I've drawn it into the slope. Superb. A foot away, Ken, would have stayed. Yeah, it was definitely, yeah. Tommy Fleetwood, uphill. Eagle putt, not dissimilar to Rosner's a short while ago. Surely not four out of four it is, you know. Oh, my goodness. He's human after all, Ken. Yeah. 
We've seen four people down there and they've all hold it. Terrible Hatton. Another birdie though, that's how you like them from about an inch. Looks like the full iron. Just gripping down on it like Tommy so often does. And that's a solid, solid iron shot into the heart of the green. I know it looks like it's a long way away from the flag, but when you're standing down there with a four iron, all you're trying to do is get it in the middle of the green, make four, get on with it. 12th green, Tommy Fleetwood from a long way away. a little bit of a pull it was like his hand stopped as it got to the strike face closed down fractionally first dropped shot today for Tommy Fleetwood in the middle of the fairway and it's long as well it's going to be able to get up from there I think Two ninety for Fleetwood, two five eight the front. So it's easily reachable for him, but that flag on the right, how brave do you want to be? Ooh, he's had a go at it. Oh. He launched over the water with a draw. Oh Magnifique. Quick here. Whew, there's a old hole about halfway down. He wants to just run it over that. You see, it's just there. Oh my goodness! Tommy Fleetwood. What a putt! What a putt! Who's within one? Lucky boy. Members bounce there. For Tommy Fleetwood down 16. Just about perfect. It's getting closer as well for Fleetwood. But not a great look at Birdie for Tommy. Down green, just around the cut, the green changes. You just want to keep a bit of pace on it, doesn't want to be a dribbler. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's Tommy Fleetwood to the top alongside Matt Wallace now. He's been laying back quite a bit. Uh, Tommy, so he might be right. I think it's got to be the driver, hasn't it? It's it is, the big yeah. stick, yep. Yeah. Yeah, the mini one doesn't take the bunkers out, so. It's going right also, Fleetwood. <laughs> we want this to move further left. Come on, ball. Thanks, Tommy! <laughs> <laughs> Tommy Fleetwood. <laughs> Aiming for the right fair, and just hitting the left-hand side. And it's sitting like a lollipop. It sits in the first cut. You could almost hit a driver from where he is now. He'll have, of course, a lot shorter than that into the screen. Well, 2 2 4 Fleet with this ball sitting two inches above the ground. Three on into the breeze up the hill. Just needs to keep that club hovered. Oh no. Goodness, is, is he getting lucky again? Oh, well, we've seen that from somebody else on the first day, <laughs> if you remember, Ken. <laughs> Looks like he's going to play a sort of medium height gritty one by his practice swing. 
you know, I was just about to say, you know, we, we saw when Tommy took his practice swing the amount of grass that stood up, so that was clearly playing into the grain where the precision of your strike needs to be perfect. This is pretty quick, the last bit as well. Just feathers it down. It dropped for Tommy Fleetwood, he too, with a 66. And they finish like they started on the same number, from 9 under to 15 under. They both ventured within one of the lead going into the final round. Tommy, an excellent 66. Let's talk about the early part of that round, first of all. You were 5 under through 7 and it looked flawless. Did it feel that way to you? Yeah, I played good early on. Um, just nice to... It was like... It, I looked at the pins this morning and it actually looked like... Uh, the pins on the front nine looked a bit more accessible than they had been or they had felt for me over the first two days. So, um, but they, even so, still got to hit the shots. Um, yeah, played great early doors and then um, not that I was very far away there through the middle stretch of the round, but then it always, it sort of just felt like it got a bit trickier. I missed the fairway by a couple of yards on a couple of holes. That makes it so much more difficult out of this rough and um, had to hold on for a bit and then um, yeah, you know, the, the, there was a score out there from what you've seen uh, with how people played out there. So it was, it's always good to be one of those that get it going. You talked about the little quiet spell you had in the middle of the round, but things burst back into life with an eagle putt at 14 from a different postcode, basically. Just describe that one for me. Uh, yeah, I felt... Um, it's one of them putts that you sort of... Uh, you half fancy because you just have to hit it down the hill and you know like sort of you hit it somewhere down the hill it's always going to be close like Victor nearly hold his from a similar spot for birdie uh, but it's also very three putter ball and it's just one of those that can um, that can go either way um, it looked good for a very long time and it was it was nice really because I like the round had got a bit tricky three put at 12 13 I didn't hit a bad shot again inches out made a good up and down and then um, yeah an eagle just out of sort of Hey, two good shots onto the green, but still, like you'd have taken a four and an eagle just sort of set us back on track. Second here in 2019, you said yesterday this one's close to your heart. Thoughts on winning it tomorrow? Well, it would be great. I um, kind of, uh, I'm very happy with the fact that um, you get to the very final day of the year and um, I'm still playing well, still feel fresh, um, still feel, feel very motivated um, and I'm in contention. So I, I you know, take a lot of... Uh, pleasure out of out of that I think it's it's easy to shut off when you get so far down the season but um, kind of pride myself on going all the way and uh, yeah we'll see tomorrow it was great today um, you know out there we're playing playing with one of the best golfers in the world and trying to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Victor um, so I'm just looking forward to more of it tomorrow it's been uh, it's been great so far appreciate your time play well tomorrow nice, to watch another DP World Tour video click here and to subscribe click here